All right, Nocturnal News. Look, guys, I have a very cool video for you guys today. Uh, the ISS flying past the surface of the freaking moon. Okay, the lunar surface. Now, we know the ISS is what um, approximately, I think, about 240, 250 miles above the surface of the Earth, low Earth orbit. Uh, and we've seen plenty of videos out there where it's like a bug going across the camera when the ISS goes from, you know, in between the telescope uh, and, and the moon, right? It appears that it's closer. And I'll play a video to kind of debunk that theory. Um, here, look, here's the deal. Let's get down to it. I believe NASA is lying to us, okay? Um, we don't know what the ISS is doing up there. NASA, never a straight answer in ASA NASA. We don't know what they're doing up there. Bill Nelson comes out and says, Larry, what the hell you think we're doing up there, Larry? Larry, before we leave, I hadn't even talked about the search for extraterrestrial life. What do you think we're what What do you think we're doing on Mars? What do you think uh, we're looking for life? You know when he's talking about UFOs and aliens and all this. So, you know that's the head of NASA admitting, or at least admitting, or open to the idea that there is life outside of our planet, and that's a big deal. And I don't think people really give that enough attention. You know, to to that to that statement because that's a bold statement. That's like maybe the president coming out and saying, "Yeah, we're not alone." Okay. Um, also, you guys know. I come from a long line of uh, in people, employees that worked at NASA. My uncle was in the Apollo program. Um, you know, my aunt, uh, I'm not going to say her name, but my aunt worked during the, uh, the ISS uh, program, late 60s, early 70s, late 90s into the ISS. And to this day, I have family members that currently work at NASA. And I've heard things. I've been told things. I have documents. You guys know this. I have a ton of documents when my uncle passed away. Uh, that I might share with you guys one day anomalies on the moon you know different experiments they were doing on the moon that, that the public has not yet been made aware of you know things like this now sounds crazy but there's people out there that can vouch for me I'm telling you guys the truth my point is NASA's never going to admit the truth now what is the ISS doing up there we don't know I mean what what do we know we know what they what they tell us on TV we know what they tell us on the news but this is crazy so I'm gonna quit babbling this is an amazing video I can't believe I've never seen this before now I'm gonna zoom in zoom out we're gonna edit I'm gonna give you guys the best vantage point like always back okay so the iss have been orbiting earth for about 23 years launched in 1998 uh the first long-term resident arrived on november 2nd around 2000 so somewhere in that ballpark um point is we don't know what nasa is doing up there we have no idea but before we get back to this iss sighting um i played a video maybe about a week two weeks ago 
um, of NASA, uh, what I believe, you know, trying to basically blow up a moon base, okay? They were going to hurdle two satellites. I know it sounds crazy. Hurdle two satellites into the moon, and I think they were trying to hide a moon base, okay? And we'll zoom in right here to get a look at said base, okay? Then I'm going through the NASA archives, and I found another anomaly that was just a striking resemblance to this moon base right here. And um, I'll put that picture up on screen here in a second, but take a look at that, guys. Now, soak that in, okay, right? Now look at this. This is what I found in the NASA archive. I mean, that's clearly man-made. That is not natural. It looks like a waffle, right? It looks like, you know, some type of rectangular door. So I just wanted to include that. Now, back to ISS. A friend of mine kind of analyzed the video earlier, and he said, well, this could possibly be a satellite. You know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. When we zoom in, uh, we can clearly see it's the ISS. Okay, point number one. Point number two, uh, this was back in 2015, November 2015, two uh, amateur astronomers, separate amateur astronomers, recorded this, uh, the video that, that I'm playing today. You know, so, I mean, it can't be a coincidence. I mean, why is the ISS possibly orbiting the moon the lunar surface at a bare minimum it's flying incredibly close okay again um we we can tell when it just kind of zooms by the telescope okay let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison now on the left you're going to see the iss uh when it just goes past the moon as normal okay again on the right i'll play it again on the right you'll see when it's, I believe, orbiting the lunar surface. Again, on the left, you see it looks like a bug flying in front of the camera. On the right, the video that, uh, you know, we, we played for you guys today. So uh, clearly two different things. I know, I know a lot of debunkers are going to claim that, you know, it's a lot further away from the moon than it appears to be. But there's a side-by-side -side comparison. There is no comparison. One of them looks like a little black bug. The other one is clearly, you know, incredibly close to the lunar surface.